Hey Capricorn, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to check up on your person and see what their current feelings and energies are for you. So let's dive in. There will be an extended reading as usual at the end and you will find all the link to the extended readings underneath this video. Wow, okay, very interesting start of the reading. We've got passion and then we got guilt and dissipating. Now this is going to be very direct, but this could be talking about someone that is actually already in a committed relationship and they are they do have a lot of feelings and passion for you. However, they may feel guilty for their current um, partner and they're dissipating a lot of time and just distracting themselves because they know they actually need to divorce. So this is a very strict, straightforward message. I do also have rejection here. So they feel guilty for rejecting you and not doing anything in return to, you know, help themselves out of a situation or a relationship that is not meant for them. Even if they're not in a marriage, it could still be talking about someone that is involved with someone else. So that's what I am picking up, but obviously not everyone is in that type of relationship or a third party, but for some of you, yes, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing it more and more often in my personal readings that people are actually already involved or in a relationship. So this could definitely be for those who need some more explanation in regards to the third party. So let's see. I mean, these are also a targeted group, so we should not exclude that and respect their situation as well. Let's see, how does this person truly feel right now in regards to Capricorn? Too many cards. How does this person truly feel in regards to Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. The Ace of Swords. Oh my God, the Three of Swords. Ah, the world card and the ten of pentacles so it makes sense like it's still the same message because it feels like this person feels like they need to talk to you about this third person or this you know the relationship that they are in and they are a little bit afraid of breaking your heart and it's actually breaking their heart and they feel guilty for telling you like hey you know I'm in a in, in a relationship and I can't seem to just you know, bow, um, I, can't, I can't seem to just like get out of that that easily. Because it feels like, look at that, the world card and the Ten of Pentacles again could be indicating that it's, it's a long-term relationship and they've been through a lot and they are, you know, they have a family and they have responsibilities with the Saturn world card to work on this relationship. So I feel like they are not happy telling you this truth. They are definitely not happy about that. Like it breaks their heart to tell you this. They even feel guilty for needing to tell you like, hey, I am so sorry, but I'm already here in this commitment and I can't seem to just like, you know, finish that up and move, move away from it. They feel guilty for needing to reject you on this because they, they do they do have a lot of love for you or they feel so attracted to you. And you may feel the same way, right? What are their next move? We've got the Knight of Cups reversed. The Page of Cups. I mean, yes, maybe this person is not going to be flirtatious. They may not be in a space to ask you out on a date or to bring you somewhere because obviously they don't want to be seen with 
um, with someone else. But this person is definitely going to be messaging you. Like, I feel like they want to keep the contact between the both of you. Like, they want you to be at least their friend uh, or ask for a friendship. And obviously, that's that's a big deal because how are you going to be friends with someone that is actually in a relationship and you both have so many feelings for one another? So is it a correct thing? I feel like they're really going to be trying to manifest this friendship with you or at least keep you around as a friend. That's what I'm picking up on. But I must be honest with you, like this could lead to a lot of confusion and eventually could lead to, uh, to a breakdown. Like maybe you will not be in a space to accept this and I can definitely understand. I mean, like obviously you shouldn't. I feel like you shouldn't, but obviously that's my my two cents in my opinion, but because it could end up in a tower, like you getting overwhelmed or both of you even feeling overwhelmed by too many feelings and emotions and triggers and that could lead to one drama with this, with this tower. Page and one, so keeping things lightly with you, keeping things excited and not to, not getting too involved when it comes to emotions and feelings and keeping things just on the service level with this page of wands is what this person is going to be trying to do. Let's see how you feel about this. Yeah, two of swords. Look at that, like... I feel like we're in the same boat when it comes to the situation. Like, you want to block your feelings right now as well. Like, maybe you're trying to ignore this person, ignore your feelings, because you are aware of what is going on here, and you're also aware that this person keeps this relationship a secret, and that you do deserve better than that. Like, you need to start using your discernment. You know that this person is holding something back. For some of you, even though that's like a very small percentage of you, you may not be aware that this person is in another commitment, but you, your intuition is telling you like, hey, the, the way that they are responding or not responding just gives you some type of insight. And Spirit is saying like, listen to your intuition and use your better discernment. Be objective when it comes to the situation and and make like a final decision based on that. What else for Capricorn? You may really want to be with this individual though. Like but but uh, but at the same time I feel like you're you're keeping all your yearnings to yourself. Like you're not showing this person that you are, you know, interested in them or that you really want to be with them you're you're really focusing on your own happiness as well even though you really want them you're not showing it at all like absolutely not the death card reverse but the the thing is you can't seem to let go of this person because they have like a hold in you they they have like some type of an attachment um the death card in the reverse is most definitely showing that even though you're you're trying, I see you really trying to do your best to block this person, to ignore them, to not read their messages and everything that you can do because you're, you're, you're yourself, you're also confused, right? Like what do they want? Especially when you know, like they feel guilty about a lot of things. Um, but you can't seem to let go. But you're always also aware that you may need to make a better judgment here. The awakening card reversed to the seven of cups. It's like you need to start seeing other options or other possibilities. Expand your horizon here. Search for new options or new people that could fit better into your life situation right now. 
Yeah, Seven of Swords. Like, it's time to be honest to yourself. It's time to really face things objectively. That's what I feel. Yeah, let's see what more we have. Well, you know what? Let's see what the out what, what the outcome is going to be here for the time being. The full reversed, which is saying that yeah, it might not be the greatest idea to Take a leap of faith towards this person as obviously you don't want to be the one that ends up empty-handed or fooled. And the Knight of Swords is saying like, okay, there might be a time that is going to, there is a time that's going to come where you're going to feel overwhelmed. Um, kind of like wanting to know what, what the outcome is for this person and you might directly communicate this and this could cause for some friction or drama or chaos in the connection. Star, I feel like it's time to surrender to this, leave it up to the divine, to not take any action right now because it could definitely lead to a dramatic scene right now. So really focus on healing yourself and taking this time off to focus on yourself, to cleanse yourself. Um, and with the star, really focusing on your own healing journey. All right, that's what it looks like for me. <coughs> A time for spirit, exactly. A time for spirit, that's what this star to the hangman was talking about. Needing to surrender, needing to put focus more on reconnecting with your own spirit or spirit guides and really going to a deep cleansing. Yeah, a lower healing as well at the bottom of the deck. An important end and a new beginning. For some of you, Spirit is saying like you've been working way too hard to manifest this connection, but if this person is already involved, it's time for you to end this connection in order to have a brand new beginning elsewhere. Because look at that, true love is coming your way. Like if you, if you feel connected to this reading and this is your story and this is most definitely a third party situation, Spirit is saying like there is true love, new love coming to you. The romantic series in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. There you go, my friend. So beautiful energy to see. And I feel like that's what I have for you for the time being. There will be an extended uh, at the end of this video. You can find a link in the description box below. Also, I will be telling you more about the Mykonos retreat as well as my new jewelry collection at the end of this video. So stay tuned if you want to see more and if you want to purchase any of it only at theillusilluminator.com. Everything is in the description box below. Take care. Love you guys. Ciao.
up everybody welcome back to the channel i am so grateful for you all to tune in again it's been a while i know i've been quite offline on youtube but i've been working very hard on a lot of projects and i want to share some of that pro some of those projects with you uh, first of all i've been working together with a wonderful wonderful team on creating our first spiritual retreat which we are going to be doing in Mykonos, Greece the 17th, 18th and 19th of June. So that's what we've been working on very hard behind the scenes. So I really, really hope that I would see some of you guys show up on this very special, unique retreat that we are organizing. For me personally, Greece has been a major, major catalyst in finding my soul's purpose and it has, a, it has such a beautiful story to it. Uh, back in 2015, I believe it was, uh, was my first time that I went to Greece and I remember I was hiking in a small little island, uh, it was in Kos, I believe, and I, I biked into some type of a um, lane and at the end of that lane on top of a hill there was a small little church as we all know about uh, Greece culture, they have these small little petite churches and I do know that uh, the year before that and the, the exact year that I was there, I was really praying spirit to bring me my soul's mission. Like I knew that I had to do something special on earth that I did not know what it was before. And I was, as most of you know, I was getting very frustrated because it, it was not getting to me. And, and I knew spirit had something special in mind that I didn't even know about. So I do believe that um, Greece really brought me that spiritual purpose. And when I went into that church, I um, lit up a candle with the intention for my spiritual mission to come to me. And I remember that I felt like there was someone, someone or people in that church as I was putting in my intention into the candle. And the moment that I opened my eyes, I looked around and I was like, there is no one here. And I just kind of like got a little bit scared because the presence of the energy within that place was so strong. Like I felt people or someone around me and I'm looking around and I'm like, there is no one here. How is that possible? So I went out and I'm just looking around. It's just like in the middle of nowhere and there was absolutely no one there. And that moment I knew like, okay, there was a huge spirit here, um, probably heard my, my calling. Um, and later, that, later on that day, I went into some type of souvenir or a supermarket. And I remember that I found like these uh, crystal necklaces. I forgot to bring it with me, but I, ha I still have it here. And it said like Sagittarius crystal stones, but back in the days that was definitely not a common thing. Like crystals were definitely not a common thing to find that easily. I mean, it obviously you could find, but it was not something um, that was just like everywhere. So that felt for me like, okay, hey, there is, there is some type of direction that I'm being guided to because when I was a child, I used to um, collect a lot of crystals and then I kind of like release that dream or not the dream but the hobby to collect crystals and nowadays we see overall online like it's like it's it's the most obvious thing when it's when it comes to spirituality right so for me you know Greece has been super super potent in the energies and with this ancient um, gods and goddesses, it is definitely a place to really discover yourself and really discover your soul path and north node and your soul mission and whatever you're supposed to do in um, in this lifetime. So I am very, very excited to announce that we want to create a beautiful retreat where we are going to be putting the focus on, first of all, to release any karmic energies and then to attract um, and manifest on the new moon of Gemini, whatever your dreams and desires are. Uh, we've been working really, really diligently on creating this program with multiple people. And I do know that we are a little bit short at time because yeah, the Mercury retrograde really hit his heart. Um, and I wasn't able to get this video out or get the videos of the he said, she said out as well. So we are a little bit delayed in uh, announcing this and I know that many of my subscribers are um, spread over the world, especially in the US. Um, we are 
trying to keep it a little bit open. Um, it is very sacred. Um, we have two villas, so it's going to be not that many people that can participate to begin with. Uh, but if there is troubles when it comes to short time bookings, then we are able to maybe ex uh, extend it until September. So all depends on you, obviously. So yeah, let us know what you think about it. I have all the information in the description box below. It's on my homepage and as well as on um, the ticket link on the website. But all the information will be down in the description box below this video. And yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be very magical. And the team that we created is absolutely so spiritually based and super, super talented and intelligent. And uh, yeah, we're going to make the best out of it. Uh, let us know uh, how you feel about it. And also, if you want to vote rather for September, let us know as well, because maybe we can do another retreat in September. And let's see where we end up next. Um yeah, that's what I have for you guys. So let me know your comments. I would really, really love to see all of you. Well, well, we can't see all of you, but I would really love to meet and see some of you that can make it, even though it's a little bit short at time. But yeah, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And we'll definitely meet each other. If not, then at another place. A second thing that I want to introduce is that I've been working really hard on my new Sakura collection, my new jewelry collection. Um, I have all the images and a short little uh, clip for you guys at the end of the video of the He Says, She Says game. So if you are interested, take a look. Uh, it is Mother's Day today that I am recording this. So happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. I know even that is a little bit short at time, but if you want to purchase, I have made a 25% coupon uh, that you can use on the crystals as well as the um, oils. So if you're still searching for a nice little gift for your mother or for yourself, you can still purchase, purchase that. So that's been my life so far. Uh, let's see how your life is going in the He Said, She Said game. I thank you so much for your presence and for your likes, your shares, your comments. And I really, really hope to see you in, um, in June in Mykonos. Thank you so much and I catch you in the He Said, She Said game. Ciao.